Help identifying this bike frame. I recently bought this bike from a non-bike person who didn't know anything about it. I've looked at thousands of pictures and hundreds of websites and I cannot find this frame. So, that means it is either rare, or junk. There are no markings anywhere. No serial number. There is a, 1, and, B, stamped, cut on the dropouts. I don't know if this is some kind of logo. Pretty sure the frame is aluminum. Bike is very light. Most of the components are grand compé, crankset, seat, seat post, brakes, etc. Any help would be appreciated. Hate it when I can't solve a mystery. Strange design without a seat tube. Three parallel tubes welded together forms the frame. Enter image description here. Enter image description here. Enter image description here. Enter image description here. This is almost certainly a custom-made frame, and one that should be regarded as more of an artistic work than a practical device. The layout of the frame means that it will flex considerably as it's ridden, or even just when you sit on it, and likely the flex will be enough to lead to fairly early frame failure. The first thing you need to do is to take a magnet and see if it sticks to the metal. If it does, the frame is steel, probably chrome-plated, and that is good. If the magnet does not stick then most likely it's aluminum, and aluminum has very poor fatigue life, meaning that the frame will fail very quickly. There is a vague possibility that the metal is titanium, if the magnet doesn't stick. I've never worked with titanium, but you can likely differentiate it from aluminum by using a common pocket knife to try to carve off a small bit on some exposed edge. Aluminum will let you do this easily, but titanium is much harder. If it is titanium the metal alone could be worth a few hundred dollars, and the frame might be able to withstand more use than aluminum or even steel. I would suggest that you limit the use of the bike. No one weighing more than 200 pounds should ride it, and riding should be limited to relatively smooth surfaces. There is at least enough redundancy built into the frame design that it's not likely to fail catastrophically, but check it regular for cracks, particularly along the bends and at the joints. And regard it as a work of art. You may even consider checking whether a nearby art gallery is interested in it, or some other museum.